And yes, uh, indeed, we have Sissy Chum here, as I said, and uh, she is ready, ready. As you do, uh, the two of you are looking very, very what? classy and. You Thank know. you. Thank you. I, I need to feature the two of you on my upcoming <laughs> projects. <laughs> Sissy, won't you be on it? Oh, I'm an established be. musician only on this platform. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> have an EP coming out, so oh, okay. I want you to be on yeah, the EP. Yeah, he does actually. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Tell yeah. him now. You know all these things. We're not saying it. Yeah, he's a great artist. <laughs> Tell him my name. He's my so stage good. name. So good. Abode. Yeah. Abonabe. <laughs> And the EP is called Abonabe. Hey, the wow. Abonabe EP. Wow. So you feature on it. Whether you like it or not. This will be very amazing. Hey, yeah. you wouldn't be the only gospel artist. Ahima Messi will be on it. Hey. As well. Yeah, you don't yeah. have a choice. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is and my it's first a, it's feature. A, it's, a, it's a strong one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what's going on, man? <laughs> How How are you? I'm fine by the grace of God. I'm right. Glad. So, so you know, Sisi Chum is an amazing woman. When it comes to, you know, her songs, ministering, I've watched you for a very long time. I've followed you for a very long time. And um, one thing I love about you, your smile. Oh, thank you. You see? <laughs> <laughs> your smile is so beautiful. You're a very beautiful woman. Thank and you. Sissy Chum, you have some, uh, quite a number of nominations to your credit. Um, you know, um, African Gospel and Media Awards in 2018, Vodafone Ghana Music Awards in 2018. Three Music Awards in 2020 and so on. And I must say, congratulations. Thank you. You've done amazing all these Thank years. You. You've been doing great. Thank you. In an interview, you mentioned that if you were not a gospel artist, Asamova. Asamova, <laughs> problem has come. If you had not turned out a gospel artist mm -hmm. or married to a pastor, mm -hmm. the profession that you would have pursued would have been newscasting. Yeah. You dreamt of being a newscaster. Yes. At what yes. point in your life did that turn? Oh, I think um, after um, secondary school. Secondary school? Yeah. What happened? Oh, you know, I started, uh, I've been a church girl all my life, so I've always been in the choir and all that. So I got to know that, you no, know, my passion is in the um, music side more than the, what I was dreaming to be mm. and so yeah that's when it's everything changed because i was given a lot of songs to learn to come and lead the choir and also the focus now okay. turned yeah to okay. music yeah. okay so the love for doing gospel Word, music yeah. it started yeah. in se secondary school oh, yes but yes. well, okay so when it started in secondary school and then you were doing <coughs> your singing in the choir and then all that that was when i believe the calling came as well oh yes oh yes Right. Yeah. And then from now, from that time to date, how would you look back at your life, everything you've done, all the songs that you've produced, how far these songs have gone? How would you see these achievements as? Uh, God has been good. He has been faithful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because starting all these, even um, as young as 11 years, I was joining when I was in primary. Mm -hmm. I was joining the senior choir in Winneba Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And through that, I came to Accra schooling and then started um, here too. Um, I never thought of um, getting to this point because yeah. all I knew was singing in church, yeah. singing in choir yeah. and all that. I enjoyed doing that. And by the grace of God, here I am. So I'm grateful. You know, speaking about the showbiz roundtable that will be happening on Saturday, um, the, 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 whole, the key here is, you know, a creative seeking sponsorships. I, I want to find out um, from... All that you've done, you've, you've organized events yeah. and all that. Yeah. What, what are some of the hassles you've had to go through? Is that really what we were talking about this yes. morning? Yeah. yeah, to seek for sponsorship yeah. hasn't been easy at yeah. all. As a gospel artist, yes, it hasn't been easy. It's always come from people that are personally, like you know, that have companies and all that mm -hmm. decide to support. But if you go to like um, corporate, corporate, yeah, yeah, yeah. industry. Or oh, they, they tell you, you hear from us and all that. And what do you think could be the problem? I don't know. <laughs> because you have good songs. You also, your children were quite grown, helped mm -hmm. you to maneuver your way yeah, in the industry. Yeah, Would you, yeah. you said that it, it was a, a huge contributor. It was because 
by the grace of God, I got married very early. At the age right. of 19, I was married. Okay. And so, at the age of 27, I've given birth already, like, to all the three children. Which is good. Yeah. yeah, so, by the time I entered into the gospel music, yeah. like, the mainstream, um, they already know what to do in the morning. It's not like you have to rush them. Mm. And yeah. their father was always there for them, yeah. take them to school, pick them up, and all that. I'm able to also go and do my stuff and mm. all that. So. Mm. Prophet election, wherever you are, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> well, but, he's aware well, she's here. But you know, earlier, I said, earlier, earlier, I said something. I, I was asking a question, but you didn't, you, you didn't catch it. Which one? That God, female gospel artists seem to be marrying pastors. Mm -hmm. mm. It seems that it has to be a, a pastor. A, a pastor. I Maybe it's, not it, a it's also a for pastor. the fact that mm. they feel that that person will understand me better because the person is already in the ministry. Is it so for you? Not really, because I got married five years later before I even started music. Okay. okay. So mine wasn't like I was out there and a the pastor saw me and decided to marry. No. I don't care, no, no, pushing me to here. Okay. Do, do, do you get it? Mm. And. But he's a prophet. Did he's a prophet. Did he that about yeah. you? That you would be yes. a star, you would be, you would sing. You know, you he's know? the one that told me that, see, what's in, uh -huh. what's in you is not only for the church. Like, I, there's something in you that can impact the world. So why don't you go to the studio and like okay I wasn't because I thought oh the choir thing church thing mm. is what I love to do but I think he saw something in me yeah. that I didn't even yeah one time this thing I say I say it every time that I'm, I'm smiling I was all dressed up and I was just in the mirror admiring myself <laughs> I'm like hey in tune is amazing to now worry like <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes like what I saw in you hasn't even started. Like, wow. So, you know, if you get people around you like this, that sees something good in you that you can't even see for yourself, I mean, cherish them and hold them. Mm. Yeah. So, since you five years ago, what are you diff doing different now from that time? Mm, I think I wasn't outgoing type. Even if you call me for a program, <laughs> I didn't want to show up. It's kind of I was shy. I didn't know what what was wrong though. Yeah. But if you call me for it, I so when I came up with my first album, people knew the song, but they didn't know the person behind the song. Right. Yeah, I yeah, think, I think, I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. So I think now I'm getting to learn. People are pushing me like. That's why I say, if you have positive people around you, they see something, you see, no, we're waiting, now they tour your day like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they keep pushing you like that. So. <laughs> Richard, thank you so much for Welcome being here. Yeah, thank Welcome. you so much. And so, uh, tell us, what exactly is the reason behind you being here, behind you in that seat? <laughs> okay, I came here to promote a new single. Yeah. That call that's the um, um, the, um, the one playing Play right now. Back. It's called Freedom Medley, and as I said, it's not my song. Mm. It's from um, our legends, Reverend Francis A. J. Francis Asmedu, Tego Sisters, that I I I just twisted it a bit and then put it out there so I'm out here mm. sitting here mm. promoting that yeah song so it's on YouTube so it's so on YouTube official video, right? yes it's on YouTube if you go there type CC True Music and all the online platforms you they're gonna get it right CC Chum, thank you once more thank you too but you say you're not me. a calm person eh? anybody who says CC Chum is a calm person you just yeah, laugh yeah I'm not I'm not a calm person you're not a calm person no you should see that's it. <laughs> like this I'm calm <laughs> but when I'm comfortable with you and I get to like we get close that's when you're going to know the real CC you should see yeah. it yeah. in the element you know? <laughs> I knew like you can see a little bit of that like yeah you can sort of change like yeah some of the videos are the element I'll talk to you. But you know, before you go, find out what do you have to say? Tell your fans, your friends, family. I want to tell them I love them so much. I, I, and I want to say thank you to, for, uh, to them for being with me all this while. I uh, mean, some of them will call you, like, it's been a while we heard from you, what are you doing, and all that. It means they cherish you and they love you. And I don't take it for granted. God bless them so much for always praying for me. Prophet Alishim, thank you for supporting me. Um, everyone who has helped me um, till now, God bless you.
and also thank you God uh, bless for you. Me here. God bless you all. Yes, yeah. God bless you too. Yeah, watch out for our uh, single. Oh, many of you are saying. Why are you saying that? You man, you don't know. Why? Yeah, no. Abana, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you the way you know instrumentals, no. Sure. So she should put her hook on. Yeah. I, I haven't said anything. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, viewers. So thank you very much for being with us right here on Prime Morning. Um, make sure that you join us tomorrow, exactly 6 a.m. through to 10 a.m. My name is Isidua Akumia. Okay, I'm doing the Royal Hostess here. Yeah. And ah. Rosalind Feli. Oh, CC, so before, before you go, let's sing. Yeah, uh huh. Bano, Bahame Kali. Let's sing your voice. Bahame, yeah. And I just can't spot some of them. Hey! Super! Bahame, yeah, me, oh, Bahame. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Oh.